In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Geometry Script in UE 5.0 to create a procedural mesh object that has multiple materials. Uh, we're going to use this wall panel as an example. So this is a simple parametric wall panel with some uh, parametric subpanels or greebles, and they have a different material assigned to them. You can see they have a blue material over here on the right. Uh, okay, so let's look at the blueprint for that panel uh, before I added the support for multiple materials. So I'm not going to go through the whole blueprint in detail. I'm just going to give an overview. So this is a rebuild generated mesh event. Of course, we make a random stream for all the random stuff. Uh, we do an append box. That's the main wall panel in the background. And then what we're going to do is allocate a compute mesh uh, because we're going to accumulate all of those sub panels into a separate mesh that we're going to combine with the main mesh. And it's that separate mesh where we can sort of set a new material on it. So we make the compute mesh, we do a for loop over the number of little panels we want and append them. I'm not going to go over this append function, it just uh, adds a bunch of boxes randomly placed and generated. Uh, and then we combine that with the main mesh using append mesh and then we re release our compute meshes. Okay, so, so to uh, get the separate materials we just need to add two nodes. So the first thing we're going to do is do a remap material IDs. So basically every time we add a primitive or anything like that, it gets material ID zero. We don't use sections in dynamic mesh actors, we use material IDs, which is a for each triangle, essentially which material index, like 0, 1, 2, 3, that it gets. So um, all of the ones we appended, they have material ID 0, so we're just going to remap material ID 0 to material ID 1 in this node. Um, we're going to do that on this sub mesh, uh, and then we're going to wire that here into the append mesh, and we can update this pin, we don't have to. Um, okay, so now when we do this append, it's going to preserve the material ID of the incoming mesh. Um, so they're going to all be material ID 1. So now all we need to do is configure material set on the dynamic mesh component, because that's where the materials live. Um, so we'll just wire that in. So it's done, and we need to make the material set. So we'll do a make array, add two pins. I've already added variables for the wall material uh, and the greeble material, the blue one. I've already configured them to be white and blue. So we've got this array, I'm going to wire it in here. And now if we compile and go back, we see that uh, by default it automatically updated and we've got the blue and the white. Um, we could also do this with Booleans, just so you know. Uh, so a Boolean also preserves the material IDs of the incoming meshes. So if we subtracted those subpanels, they would also get material ID 1 on the subtracted areas. So that is how you can assign materials to the output of a Boolean. Uh, okay, so now we have this panel. Uh, that has a bunch of settings, um, and we can easily do things like edit the materials. For instance, uh, let's turn off our lights. I've got Lumen turned on here. So I can drag this glow material over to my Greeble material, uh, and now we've got some you know cool lighting effects. Uh, maybe we'll make these skinnier and longer, uh, and add some more of them. And we can you know put a object in there. And uh, and there we go. So that's how you do material assignment uh, in uh, GeometryScript. Okay, thanks for watching.